Hi everyone, Shane R. Monroe here. Renegade Ops is a kick-ass twin-stick action shooter from 2011. Destruction just got awesome. In Renegade Ops, you must defeat Inferno, a madman intent on global domination. Destroy enemies across a range of stunning environments using a wide variety of vehicles. Players have the choice to fight alone in single-player mode, team up offline with two-player, split-screen, or enjoy the dynamic four-player online co-op experience. Blast your way through the enemy lines, working together, or compete for achievements as you and your friends aim to top the online leaderboards. Unfortunately, this game doesn't work on Steam Deck, well, out of the box, but we will make it work. We have the technology. Stick around. Okay, obviously the first thing we wanna do is install the game and Steam Deck will tell you it is not compatible. Unsupported, no can do. Yeah, install it anyway, why not? Okay, we're going to trim out the download for you here, speed things up a little bit. And what we're going to do now is flip over to desktop mode. Also clipped off a little for you. Now, what we're gonna do is use something called Proton Tricks. If you do not already have Proton Tricks, you're going to need to install it from the Discover Store. Pretty easy, pretty quick, free, no problem. Pretty simple. So after you run it, it's gonna list all of the games that it found, including non-Steam games and the game in question, which is, of course, Renegade Ops. And your numbers will all match up, except for the non-Steam games. Those non-Steam games are random. So those numbers won't mesh up. Now I left this delay in here and I'm leaving all the delays in here so you know how long it can take to churn and burn while it's processing what you're asking it to do. So you don't have to uh, wonder if it's actually working or not. It's working, it's just taking its sweet time. Okay, so now once it comes up, we're gonna go ahead and leave it with select the default wine prefix and we're gonna choose install a Windows DLL or component. We need two components to make this guy work. We need Direct3D Compiler 4.3 and we need Direct3D Compiler 4.7. So we check them and uh, we hit okay. This will take a while to install. So you're probably wondering, how the hell did you know to do that? Where did you figure out to use the Proton Tricks and to use those two particular items? Well, every now and then ProtonDB actually comes through in spades. Uh, on ProtonDB, you can look up a game and it will tell you what steps you might need to take to make it work. Now, it's not gonna go through everything I did in this video, it's just gonna tell you those two files and you're on your own to try to figure out how to actually install them. So, ProtonDB is useful sometimes, but not all the time, and it doesn't give you everything you need to know. So this is still working, don't worry, it's still working, it's almost done. And it's done. You now can click on Cancel and we can click cancel again, and we are ready to return to gaming mode. All right, we clipped it out for you, and now we're ready to start the game. We will select play. No weird protons, no other nonsense, just those things. You'll see the first time run, it installs Visual C++ and all that nonsense. If Valve had been smart, they would have included these Direct3D compilers in there, but uh, listen, old game, they probably aren't going back there and, and checking this game out against Steam Deck. Fortunately, the community has done it for us, and there you go. It would have already locked up your entire Steam Deck by now, and you would have had to do a hard reboot to get the game up and running. Well, listen, that's it. I appreciate you watching. You guys know what to do. Yes, like, subscribe, hit the little bell, you know, all the stuff I beg you to do. And, of course, leave a comment. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Shane Armonroe. We'll see you next time. Take care.